Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to Easy Mathematics. We want to continue from where we stopped the last time. Last time, when we met, we look at angles. That is angles in triangles, and we talk about the types of angles and how to calculate for any given angle in a triangle. So they want to look at some solution and see how we can solve for angles in a triangle. So we are looking at solving for angles in a triangle. So with the first one, we have to find the value of x. Now anytime we are finding the value of x, we have to consider the properties in any given triangle in terms of what angle. So now let's look at this triangle. Now you can see that all the angles are inside the triangle. So once the angles are inside the triangle, then we sum all the angles and we went it toward to 180. Because angles in the triangle, they sum up to 180 degrees. So we are going to say for the I, X plus X plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So this becomes an equation for you to solve for x. So this and this will give you 2x plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. The interest is to make x the subject. So let's group like things. So now we are going to take this one to this side, giving you 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. Then we subtract. So this is going to give you 2x is equal to, if you take 60 from 180, you are left with 120 degrees. From here, anytime you have this, we are making x the subject, or we are solving for x. So we divide both sides by the number close to x, which is the 2. So we are going to divide this side by 2, and also divide this side by 2. So if this cancel out, you have x is equal to. Now 2 is going to each of 1, 2 is going to this value 60 degrees time. So x is equal to what? 60 degrees. So if this is 60, this is 60, then what type of triangle is this? Looking at the angles you have inside. If all the angles are equal, then this triangle happens to be what? An equilateral triangle. So that is how we solve for x using the first property that is angles in a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. Now with the second one, you are solving for x. Now look at where x is. You have x here, you have 50 here, you have 120. With this one, for me to solve for x, I will use the second property which states that if you have co-interior angle, the two co-interior angle is equal to the opposite exterior angle. So these two angles, these ones, which are interior angles, if I sum this and this together, it is equal to each opposite. So with the second one, I, I, the x plus the 50, or the 50 plus the x, is the same as 120 degrees. Why? Because... The core interior angle of a triangle is equal to the opposite. So if I want x, then this plus this is equal to this. So from here, what do you do? You group like terms to solve for x. So this is going to give me x is equal to 120 degrees minus 50 degrees. Subtracting 50 from 120 gives you x is equal to what? 70 degrees. So here, since we don't have any number attached to x, our answer becomes 70 degrees. So with the angles in triangle, for us to solve it, we have to apply, apply the properties of angles in a given triangle. Let's take the second example. Now you have to find the value of A, B, and C. Now, anytime you look or you see the diagram, ask yourself, is the triangle an isosceles? Is it at right angle? Is it a scalene? If it is an isosceles, apply the idea on isosceles triangle. 
if it is right angle, apply it. Now, what will help you to know that it is an isosceles or equilateral is when there are bars on the lines. So with this triangle, you can see that the bars being on these two lines makes this triangle an isosceles triangle. And last week, we said with the isosceles, angles at the base are the same. So if I want A, B, C, then look at the diagram and solve for the one you can easily calculate for. Now, if I want to solve for A, I will not hesitate to say that A and 56 are on a straight line. So if A and 56 are on a straight line, then what is the property saying? The property is saying that angles on a straight line, they sum up to 180. So if A and 56 are on a straight line, then I can first solve for A by saying that A plus 56 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. This is because this and this are on a straight line. And angles on a straight line, they sum up to 180. Now from here, what do you do? Our interest is to make A the subject. Making A the subject means let A stand alone. So you have plus 56. So this plus 56 will move it or shift it to the what? To the other side. So this is going to give you A is equal to 180 degrees. When this one crosses, giving you 56 degrees. We want A. Now here we have to subtract. Now if you have 180 and you are taking 56 out from it, that is going to give you A is equal to 100 and what? 24 degrees. So A is 124 degrees. You've been able to solve for A. So now you are done with the A. Now let's concentrate on the triangle. Now you can see that this triangle is an isosceles. So the base angle that you have here, which is 56, is the same angle here. So the angle here is also 56 degrees. Why is it 56 degrees? Because the triangle given is an isosceles triangle. So if the angle, if the triangle is an isosceles, then the base angles, as discussed previously, are also what? The same. Now I can solve for B by adding the angles in the triangle, which is this plus this plus this. Then we equate it to what? To 180 degrees. Because the angles in the triangle sum up to 180 degrees. So I can solve for B by saying that B plus 56 degrees plus 56 degrees is 180 degrees. Now, if you have B, 56 plus 56 will give you, this and this is giving you 2, remainder 1, giving you 11. So 100 and what? 12 degrees, which is equal to 180 degrees. You group like this. B is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. From here, you subtract. So B is going to give you 168 degrees. So the value for B is 100 and what? Sorry, it's 68 degrees. 68 degrees, sorry. So now the value for B is what? It's 68. Now that we have the value for B, we have the value for A, what are we left with? We are left with a C. Now also check. Which property can I find, can I use? You can see that the 56, the C, and the 19 here are on a straight line. So we can use the properties of angles on a straight line. Or we can say that the core interior, which is B and 56, is equal to the opposite exterior. So if I add B and 56, it should give me the angle here, which is C and 19. Or, just take it on a straight line. While the angle is on a straight line, what is the sum? It's 180. So if I want C, then I can say 56 degrees plus C plus 19 is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they're on a straight line. So here, what do you do? You group like terms. So we can say 56 degrees plus 19 degrees plus C is equal to 180. So now you add. This and this is giving you 15. So we have 5. Remainder 1 giving you 75 degrees plus C is equal to 185. 
here you want C to stand alone. You want to get something like this. C is equal to. So if I cover this one, I'm going to get C is equal to 180 degrees minus. This will come. The reason why the minus is here is because the sign in front of the 75 is positive. So it's giving you a negative word value. So C here is going to give us 105 degrees. And that is the value for A, B, and C. As the question demands or asks you to calculate for the value of that. And that is what is expected from you. Once the question is given to you, try and check the possible properties you know. Angles in a straight line sum up to 180. The core interior angle is giving you the opposite exterior word angle. Is that clear? Okay. Then look at the, sec the third one. We've already talked about the properties. So here we are just solving examples for us to see how we can calculate for angles in a triangle. Now with the third one, there is something we have to know when it comes to angles. It says the diagram below is triangle A, B, C. So once I have triangle A, B, C, I know all the properties of angles when it comes to triangle. So I'll apply it. Now it's with the side A, C. So we have A, C. Produced to D. So this line AC has been produced or has been extended to D. Find the value of X and angle ACB. Now, the new thing we have to learn here is sometimes if you see angle ACB, it can be written as this representing angle ACB. Or it can be given as angle ACB with something on top of the middle number. Now, anytime you see this, the vectors at the middle is where the angle is. The vectors at the middle. Remember when we started with angle, we pointed out the ones that are the vectors. So if you look at this, angle ACB means the letter at the middle is where the angle is located. So if you come to this one and you have been asked to calculate ACB, this is your A, this is your C, this is your B. So what is the angle there? This angle is what you have been asked to, what, to calculate. So with such questions, we write our angles with the vertices. So let's take the first one, which is the R. It says you should solve for X. So with this one, I'll just solve for X for me to know my X values. So to solve for S, or in solving for X, look at the diagram. You have X here, X plus 17 here. You have two X plus 17. Then you have nine X. Now what property can I use? Or which of the properties can I use for me to solve for X? You can see that you have the opposite you have the core interior angles, which is this and this. And you have been given its opposite exterior. And the property says that if you have two core interior and you sum it together, it is the same as its opposite exterior. So this angle is opposite to this, which is the exterior. So the sum of this plus this will give you this. Now, in terms of vertices, the angle here, I can write it as angle B, A, C. So I can say angle B, A, C. Remember, we just said that the letter at the middle is where the angle is. So angle B, A, C represents this angle. Now the difference between this and the ones we just did is that you see that with the ones we just did, there are no vertices. You are not given vertices. Where A point at the way at the point, letter at the point. Here you are just given raw diagram. But once there are vertices, we use the vertices to derive the angles. So the angle here, which is x plus 17, in terms of vectors, it is B A C, meaning the letter at the middle is where the angle is. Now, if I want this angle, in terms of vectors, or I can say angle A. 
B C. So I'm going to write it as plus angle A B C. Now most of the time when you are writing the vertices, we arrange it in alphabetical order. Since B comes before C, we brought the B first. But the letter at the middle is where the angle is. So for that one, we emphasize more on the letter at the middle. So the ones on your left should be in alphabetical order. So here too, the letter at the middle is where the angle is located. So if I have angle A, B, C, then it means the angle is at B. So if I come to the diagram, A, B, C. So this is the angle. Now this and this, they are co-interior angles, which is equal to the opposite exterior. What is the exterior? This is the opposite exterior. In terms of vertices, what do we have? We have B, C, D. It's the same as C, uh, D, C, B. But since we are arranging it in alphabetical order, we are going to say angle B, C, D. So these are the angles in terms of vertices. So now let's write. What is the angle at A? It is X plus 17. So this is X plus 17. Then plus the angle here. What do we have? We have 2x plus 17. So this is 2x plus 17. And this is equal to the opposite exterior, which is what? 9x. So here, this has given you an algebraic expression where you have to solve for x. And also, for algebraic expressions, we have videos on it. You can also research and educate yourself. Now, if you have this, what are you supposed to do? You group like terms, okay? You group like terms. The like terms are the numbers with the x or with the variable. And those without variables are also like terms. So this, this, and this, they are like terms. So group them. So this one, I'm having x. This one will come with a sign plus 2x. Now the 9x, there is a positive in front. So when it comes, it becomes negative 9x. Now you will notice that the 2, the sign in front of the 2 did not change. Why? Because the 2 did not cross any equal to sign. It is the 9 that has crossed. So it will change. And this is equal to, we will take the 17, also being negative 17. This one also going, being negative 17. Now, if you add this, the number in front of the x is 1, which is also not what written. So this is giving me 3x minus 9x is equal to this and this. If you have to add, you have negative 34. From here, you have 3 minus 9. 3 minus 9 is going to give us negative 6x, which is equal to negative 34. From here, our interest, our interest is to get x to stand alone. So getting x to stand alone, then we are going to divide both sides by what? Negative 6. So we have negative 6x is equal to negative 34. Divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6. This will cancel out. So you have x is equal to, the negative will cancel out the negative. Now what can cancel this and cancel this? 2. So 2 year 3, 2 year 17, giving you 17 over 3. So we can change this into decimal by using our long division. So 17 inside, 3 outside. 3 times 5 is 15. You subtract, you have 2. Now you have 3, 6, 18. You subtract, you have 2. So that gives you 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. So you just leave it to 2 decimal place. So x is equal to 5.67 degrees. This is the value of what? Of x. So that is the value of what? Of x. Now the second one, we have to calculate for angle ACD. Angle ACD, which is the letter at the middle. The letter at the middle. So what do you do? 
You group light terms? No, let's watch here. Angle ACD, ACD, ACB, the angle at C. So what is the angle? This is the angle. So now take this as a straight line. Take this as a straight line. So the angle here, in terms of vertex, is this one. So we say angle ACB plus the angle here. In terms of vertex, it is what? B, C, D. So angle B, C, D. Since it is a straight line, we equate it to 360. So now, this becomes an assignment for us. It becomes an assignment. Let's solve it and send it to the normal WhatsApp number we use to send our questions on. You have this one. This is what we are looking for. You have 9x. What is x? We have sub x and x is 5.67. So you substitute Solve for it, send it to the giving WhatsApp number, then we mention your name the next video we are able to do. Else, you are able to um, provide your solution to us. We will do that and award you for that. Let's look at the last one. Which that one, of course, too, will be an assignment for you to do. Now, look at the diagram. Once you see the bar, the bar means this diagram is what? is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So the angle here and the angle here, they are equal. So with the help of this, you can calculate for this. So if this is A, automatically this is also A. But in terms of vectors, the angle here can be written as angle Y, X, Z. Plus, the angle here can be written as angle X, Y, Z. Plus, the angle here can also be written as angle X, Z, Y. Since it is a triangle, this and this and this gives you what? 180 degrees. What do you have there? You have 40 degrees. Here, yeah, we said let it be A. So this is going to give you 2A. This is going to give you A plus A, which is 180 degrees. This will give you 2A is equal to 180 degrees while the 40 crosses. This will give you 2A is equal to 140 degrees. Dividing both sides by A, A is equal to what? 70 degrees. Now you have 70 here. You also have 70 here. How can you solve for X? To solve for x, use the second property. This plus this is equal to this. So you are going to add 40 plus 70 and equate it to this value. Then you also solve for x. So this becomes our second assignment to also solve for x. Provide your answers on the same WhatsApp number. Then we also, or you can even drop your answer at the comment section whilst we attend to you anytime you drop your comment. Once again, remember, when it comes to triangles, calculating the angles, we have to take into consideration the type of triangle given, the properties of the triangle, and also apply them in solving. Thank you for staying tuned. The next time we meet, we'll look at parallel lines in a triangle. We've already looked at parallel lines. We've also looked at triangle. Now we'll take a question where both has been, have been combined. You have a parallel in the same question. You also have a triangle. Thank you for staying tuned. The name is Christian. Please subscribe and share for others also to be educated. See you next week. Bye-bye.